I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I love your boyfriend. You, I will hunt. Right this back. is free. Come in here. This is not, no man. charge. Oh, don't ever, don't ever let me go. What is the one quality you need to be a best friend? Make me laugh. Yeah, you know, and have some money. If you don't have money for me, because you got to buy me some beer, and make me laugh, which all go together, I don't know if I could be friends with you. It's in the film. Your character, Ronnie. Yes. Spends the movie trying to withhold information about your character. Nick and the fact that his wife is cheating on him. Mm -hmm. So what piece of information is it acceptable to withhold from a friend? Well, that's what I think Ron does a good job with, which is he has a meeting in three days, which is make or break for a company we've been working on for 20 years. And Kevin's character really has all the pressure and he's not prepared and he's not ready. And he's really physically having a bit of a meltdown. So the dilemma isn't do you tell your friend or not? The question is, do you wait till after the meeting and give him an opportunity to get through that? Mm -hmm. Or do you tell him before the meeting? And then once you make the decision not to tell him and wait, what sort of happens from there? Sure. And what about when it comes to women? Is it ever acceptable to get together with a friend's ex? Personally, not for me. I can't do it. No. No, if, if it's, if it's you're, you, you're there and, and, and something happened between you. Me and you are pals. If we're pals, that, that's And you break first. up with a girl. Yeah. That's off limits. That girl is gone. Can't do it. We don't dip our lemon in other people's water. Hello. <laughs> in a nutshell. Hold on a stare and then I release. Look back it. I like it. In a nutshell, can you tell me the difference between male friendship and female friendship? In a nutshell, I would say uh, females tend to, uh, they, they're very caring, uh, their friendships, uh, being in a, in a female friendship. I was going to say pistachio walnut. Well, if I'm telling it within a nutshell. Within a nutshell. One is pistachios, one is a walnut. The problem with the pistachio is this. You can be cruising through a bag of pistachios and enjoying them. It's life's one of the greatest treats. And then you run smack into a wall and what I, you know what I mean, the completely sealed nut. Now you've got a decision to make. Do I just toss it and move on? Or do I risk biting it and shattering it into a million pieces? Now listen to me. Here's what I do. I go for it. Because uh, literally, I, I gotta tell you, it, it, it may take you a little longer, but it's worth it. That is my motto, no nut gets left behind. That's right. And that is it, okay? And because eventually, once you get through the, the sealed nut, the completely sealed pistachio, you're cruising back through, you're gonna get one of most life's underrated joys. And, and that's, that is literally the naked nut. No shell at all. It's one of, like, like God just said, you know what? Here's for all your work on the clothes, guys. You got a little, this is just for you. And it's just a nut in the bag. You ever see that? Just a naked pistachio? Pistachio? No, you know what talking no, about? Never just no it. shell on it. It was just a gift. It's a jewel. It's a jewel. And you take it and you give it and that's it. What is the worst thing you've ever done to a friend? Throw pistachios at them.